There's this beautiful passage where Picasso talks um, to the photographer Brassai, and he says to him, it's rare for me not to take a thing up again, X number of times the same thing again. Um, sometimes it becomes an obsession, and I'm paraphrasing a bit here, but um, this notion that he recognized that for him, part of his process was to see something and then to see it again. It's a small scale, it's a focus exhibition, it's a single gallery, and I think the real strength of having this kind of dossier-sized exhibition is that it it allows for this kind of close looking, this feeling of, um, of familiarity and I hesitate to use the word intimacy, but a kind of a kind of closeness with the works of art. So Marie Therese was Picasso's young lover, and we have the good fortune to have a group of works um, representing Marie Therese. And in these works, you see him take this familiar face, a face that he found so compelling that he stopped her on the street. It's, the story is the stuff of legends, that he sees her on the street in Paris and he stops her and says something to the effect of, um, we'll do great things together. And he takes this rather classic profile that she has, and he distills it in his works of art into this linear profile. And so you see that profile repeated. In the Bylers painting The Rescue, you see it repeated in discrete figures. In the painting with which it's paired, you see that profile matched with a fully frontal depiction of her face. So this sense of her as not just one thing in his creative vision as multiple figures in the Byler's painting and as both the profile and the full face, the sort of cool blue profile, kind of crescent looking, if you will, and then this vibrant yellow full face together, these sort of dual aspects of Marie Therese across works and then within the individual works themselves, uh, I think is really quite fascinating about seeing the works together.